Hello and welcome back to the Tomarosa. I am here in the barn with the girls and I just wanted to give you a quick update on what's going on. It is mid-February here on the Tomarosa. The cows are dry. We are all enjoying a little bit more laid-back lifestyle. Uh, the cows are uh, just enjoying hanging out in the depths of winter, eagerly awaiting spring. Uh, we are eagerly awaiting spring as well. And the reason all our calves are dry, if you haven't followed our videos before, is we are a seasonal dairy. So many dairies uh, stagger their breeding and their calving dates, so they have a constant supply of milk uh, year round. Whereas we group them together, uh, so we have a couple months in late winter when the cows are all dry, and nobody's milking and this works well with the cycles of nature because many of the natural animals around us the other ungulates uh, all have their babies in the spring and so that's what we work at too but we uh, we breed in summertime to have a spring calving right now um, the cows are set to calve starting in mid-may and extending into early June. Unfortunately, uh, we have had some bad news lately on the seasonal dairy front. Uh, we had all our cows, our four cows, bred last summer and uh, one heifer bred last summer. And one of those cows was Buttercup. And this winter, here about a month and a half ago, we noticed her showing some heat signs some signs that uh, she wanted to get bred again. And it's not unheard of for cows to show signs of heat, uh, even while they're pregnant. Um, but we weren't sure. And 21 days later, which is a normal cycle for a cow, she had another period where she was showing some heat signs. And these were stronger. These were actually uh, uh, pretty evident signs. That The first, one, first time was pretty subtle. The second time was like, yeah, we need to double check. So we did take a blood sample for pregnancy testing and we sent it in and we got the unfortunate news that she is open, meaning she is not carrying a calf. If we were a year round dairy, that necessarily wouldn't be a huge deal. We could rebreed her and she would calve when she would normally calve. But as a seasonal dairy, if we were to breed her now, uh, she would be totally out of sync with the rest of the herd and it wouldn't fit well into our seasonal dairy schedule. So, what does that mean for Buttercup? Uh, we love Buttercup, and many times uh, farmers in this instance might choose alternative uh, things, but uh, we're gonna keep Buttercup, and we feel that she deserves a second chance. Uh, she's had two uh, flawless pregnancies, uh, two easy calvings, uh, two beautiful, vibrant calves uh, that she has blessed our farm with. And so uh, hopefully this is just a one-time hiccup, uh, something nature decided was not right and took care of it for us. So um, it may actually be a blessing in disguise uh, because as I mentioned, uh, right now we're calving mid-May through early June and we actually want to back up our calving a little bit more. We'd like to start calving in April. And so since she's open now and already cycling, uh, as the spring comes about and early summer, we can breed her earlier uh, to get her on that schedule. And with the three heifer calves that we had from last year, uh, we can also breed them to hopefully calve in April. So um, not ideal circumstances it was certainly a, a letdown to get that news a disappointment but it could work it well in the future and uh, we're farmers so we're eternally optimistic um, but it, it was a disappointment but we love buttercup and uh, we feel that she deserves a second chance otherwise all the other animals are doing well uh, we're just all eagerly awaiting spring uh, us farmers recently hauled in some more hay because 
of the drought last year was horrible and we've had to buy literally tons of hay and it's it's been terrible us farmers we're waiting on spring and being able to pasture and the cows certainly want to uh, graze again uh, everything's covered in snow right now but it is slowly starting to melt away and anytime a, a little blade of grass emerges from the snow even though it's all brown and dormant and, and dried out the, the cows quickly take care of that they they are ready to graze um, but you know the drought last year was hard uh, but we're we're certainly looking forward to this year um, here in the inland northwest uh, there is a weather report that comes out every year from a guy named Art Douglas. He has been at the Spokane Egg Expo every year since 1978, uh, forecasting the year outlook. And he forecasted the drought last year. He is uh, very good at his job and he is very accurate. And so it was a relief to read uh, in the newspaper that his forecast for 2022 is going to be a cool and wet spring and possibly even a, a little bit cooler and wetter summer. So good for grass, good for grazing. Uh, we would certainly welcome that. So anyway, uh, just a quick update from the Tomarosa here in the barn. I uh, just wanted to catch you up and uh, we'll see you next time. Stick with us and uh, Take care. Thanks. Bye.